Hi everyone, welcome to the channel. This is SB777, and today in this video we're going to do, using X-Plane 12, we're going to do a realistic flight using the Flight Factor 777 version 1, one of my favorite aircraft. Before we get started, I just want to make sure, um, disclaimer, I am not a pilot, but I have a very keen interest in the 777 since its uh, launch way back in 1995. Done lots and lots of research uh, on the web, uh, have flown the aircraft, quote, uh, in a level D simulator uh, in uh, the flight training centers. I bet I've been flying it in simulation uh, quite a long time. I will tell you that uh, I've modified some things using some off-the-shelf or uh, mods available in the forum. Uh, some of these mods do break things. And X-Plane 12, uh, while it does work uh, quite well, there are some things that don't work. Uh, so some things are not going to going to be quite uh, there. The mods do take effort, though. Um, I do have a guide that I've created, and I've provided a link below in the description. So our flight plan today, we're going to be flying the, uh, as I said, the, the Boeing 777 freighter model um, in uh, FedEx livery, tail number 8, uh, November 878, uh, Foxtrot Delta. We'll be flying from uh, Memphis, um, Kilo Mike, Echo Mike, uh, in, in uh, Tennessee, USA, at the FedEx hub. We'll be flying to Papa Alpha November Charlie, Anchorage, Alaska, um, also to the FedEx hub uh, there in Alaska. Flight time will be about almost six and a half hours, depending on the weather. Uh, in our flight, we'll be using a real world flight number, departure time, weather, and so on. I don't have any weather add-ons. Um, I'm using uh, a current version of X-Plane 12. I'll get to that in a second. The key programs that, that I think you need in order to do this, um, I love a few of these. I don't get any commission on any of them, but I think they're terrific programs. Um, by the way, anything in white is free. Anything in amber is, is paid. Things that I've paid, those are optional. They do make the experience, I think, a little better. Uh, the first one from Simbit World uh, is called a random flight generator. Uh, it's free. Um, go to the Simbit World uh, website. They're the ones that do a pilot's life. Uh, pretty cool career tracker. Of course, simbrief.com, I think it's absolutely required. At least get the login for that. Um, I would highly recommend Navigraph Charts. They just make your life uh, that much more accurate and more real. Um, TopCat, this is a very old program, still available on Sim Market. Um, it's a great flight uh, weight and balance and takeoff and landing calculator. It does have the 777 in it. It came from the PMDG uh, FSX days, but it still is usable. I'll show you why uh, and how I use that. Um, X Organizer, just a great program, uh, paid also to organize all your scenery libraries and uh, plugins, etc. Of course, we're using Xplane 12.05 plus. Today, we're using actually 12.06 beta 4. It's early August, and that just came out uh, a little bit ago. Seems to be running great. The other key programs, of course, we need the Flight Factor 777. Make sure you update it to 1.11.4. Uh, I'm also using push, uh, Better Pushback 0.52. This is the version that works with uh, X-Plane 12. Uh, we're using a program called X-Checklist, which is a great freeware program available on the xplane.org forums. Uh, and I have a 777 validated checklist that we'll be using as well, uh, validated with real airline pilots and especially freight operators. Another plugin called Simple Ground Equipment and Services. It's a Fly with Lua script uh, that uh, just simulates some of the things you'll see on the ground. Doesn't interact with the aircraft, just adds a little bit of eye candy. Uh, there's a new update to ASHA. Uh, there, uh, the enhanced or advanced shadows and enhancement uh, software. I use it to do two things. Number one is make my shadows um, and draw distance highly optimized, uh, as well as uh, providing a little walk around mode. Using the Terrain Radar plugin that's free, um, we're I think using the Boeing 737NG style, which closely matches the real 777. Uh, using a, a paid program called XATC Chatter, you can get the demo. Um, I've got the paid version here. This adds um, simple ATC kind of things, but it also does add some background chatter that is 
uh, cleaned up, but kind of appropriate to the phase of flight you're in, as well as the, the area of the world that you're in. So great program. Um, other FF uh, flight factor add-ons that I've used uh, on the forums and in the guide, you'll see there's something called pumpers, textures. Uh, they're very old. They're from 2015 or so, but they're highly relevant. Um, there's another um, post from a guy called EXE's textures. He modified the pumpers textures, made some changes to the um, colors of the uh, interior. I don't think it's particularly great, but there's some pieces of that texture set that you need. Um, and then the last one is RB777's PFD textures. These change the colors of the PFD to much more accurately uh, reflect the real world 777, PFD, ND, ICAS, and so on. Um, WingFlex, there's a text file available on xplane.org, and there is an application. I've linked to it in my guide uh, to automate that. Um, I tend to not use that because who, I'm not going to look outside while flying that much, um, but it's up to you. Uh, there is a strobe and nav light fix uh, to make sure that the lights sort of kind of move if you have wing flex. Um, I don't think it necessarily works all the time. Like I said, some things don't always work. Uh, Blue Sky Simulation Sound Pack GE, I did buy this. This is fantastic. I think this is great. There is another um, freeware one from FT Sim Plus. Uh, I found it a little harder to install, but the BSS Sound Pack for GEs uh, is absolutely phenomenal. And then last, we are going to be using uh, the FedEx Echo Demonstrator 777 Freighter Livery um, from FS Cabral. I think I found it on um, Threshold X. So. And then uh, we do have scenery that we're going to be using. Um, I use SimHeaven 3. Uh, I do use Auto Ortho to, it does take a, a fair amount of space and it does take some time to load up, but boy, really, really makes the scenery look great. I am using a paid program called Global Forests 2, which just makes sure that you have the right trees in the right uh, part of the year, in the right part of the world, and uh, just generally makes things look a little bit more realistic. I have various airports. Uh, those are certainly free generally or payware, depending on what you like. Um, and then the required libraries that might be needed for those airports and other scenery from say Mr. X, Sam and other required libraries. All right, so that's it. So um, we will get started.